Hello and welcome to another episode of the Talking of Minds podcast and in this episode we will be talking about new year resolutions and the psychology behind their success or failure. Uh the new year is a time when most of us make new resolutions to bring changes to our lives and some of us fail to follow through them. And since new year is the favorite time for resolutions New Year is also the time for memes and jokes about the failed resolutions. Uh, let us look at the psychology of the failures and success of uh, resolutions and what are the things that we can try uh, to stick to these resolutions and make them successful. Uh, very few studies have been done in this area and most of the experimental studies have been published during the past uh, few years. we have had some uh, surveys before them but uh, the research evidence is just uh, being generated it's being brought out and we are uh, getting to know more things about resolutions and their success and failures so the first question would be whether these resolutions are helpful or not and for that the answer is yes because we are more likely to tackle new goals in life during uh significant changes or significant temporal milestones in our life uh these milestones could be new years birthdays or anniversaries or the you know the start of a new month or or any of those significant milestones and uh you know the changes that we initiate during these milestones are more likely to be successful than general uh you know goals and this is called the fresh start effect uh by some psychologists and it would be interesting to know what most people make resolutions about and we have some surveys about this and it seems that physical health related resolutions are the most common ones there are then weight loss related resolutions uh resolutions related to cessation of tobacco related habits financial resolutions and changing eating habits uh, then there are others about mental health and sleep uh there are resolutions about learning outcomes or learning targets and also some resolutions related to work uh, you know changes in work environment or the way, uh, or career changes so these are the most common resolutions uh, there could be any number of others you know uh, we me and you you know we all can have different kinds of resolutions made and uh there have been studies about how many people succeed in carrying forward their resolutions Uh, contrary to what we would expect you know uh, looking at those all those memes and jokes we would probably think that you know most people do not or maybe you know the majority of people uh, fail to uh, stick to their resolutions studies show that uh, uh, you know some studies say that you know up to 55% of people uh, you know keep up with their resolutions the kind of changes that they wanted Uh, you know through these resolutions even after one year of starting them uh, you know so that's uh, a pretty good number and uh, uh, there are some surveys that they say that no uh, at least uh, you know up to 75% and then you know there are some some surveys say that uh, maybe around 25 to 15% uh, of people only follow through these uh, resolutions anyway it's not that all resolutions fail you know there are people who successfully make resolutions and stick to them and we look at what decides success and failures uh, there are there can be multiple factors uh, there are some factors related to our own personality such as self efficacy or our own you know evaluation of ability to do things uh, you know it can be a, a deciding factor and whether we have the necessary skills related to the change you know that we that we uh, target with a resolution that's also important and also the readiness to change you know not not our wish to change but the readiness to make changes in our lives you know our routines and habits that's also a major predictor of success of uh, resolutions and then there is uh, uh, resilience as well resilience is our uh, ability to bounce back from small uh, you know failures in life so that can also be uh, another factor that uh, you know decides the success or failure of uh, new resolutions then uh, there are the type of goals that we make up through resolutions and the way we frame them or the way we understand these resolutions that's also important for example a same resolution or same goal can be framed as an approach oriented goal or as an 
avoidance oriented goal so an approach oriented goal would be you know adding something to our life and an avoidance oriented goal would be avoiding something negative from our life so research says that approach oriented goals are more uh, you know successful than avoidance oriented goal so uh, if it is something related to uh, you know junk food you know uh, when we say that i will be cutting down all junk food you know that is an avoidance oriented goal and when we say that you know i will improve my uh, diet by incorporating more healthy choices you know that would be an approach oriented goal so uh, the the way we frame these goals itself is important then there is the specificity of the goals you know how specific we are i am going to lose weight is a very uh, you know a generic goal but i am going to lose at least 5 kilograms of weight uh, you know in the coming 8 months you know that is more specific so we can we can add more specificity to a goal and as a goal becomes more specific uh, the success you know, the chances of success also increases and also the support of people who are around us is also important you know how much supportive they are whether they support us whether they encourage us to pursue the goals or whether they just you know forward all those memes and tell us that no bro this is go- not going to work so the kind of support that we get from others is also a factor and now we will uh, you know discuss some of the things that we can uh, try bringing in when we are trying to make new new year resolutions so one is uh, you know something that has been discussed a lot in in goal setting and problem solving areas which is called you know the smart goals it's it's an acronym for specific measurable achievable relevant and time framed it's a, it's an acronym uh, first framed by george doran so uh, you know the goals that we make need to be specific and measurable we have already spoken about specificity and the goals should also be measurable so it means that we have to be able to look back after maybe a couple of months or after 6 months you know uh, we when we look back at our uh, resolutions or our goals we should be able to measure how much progress has been made or how much progress we were not able to make even that can be measured but you know the goal should be measurable there should be uh, you know some way to measure you know uh, how much progress we have made so that makes it even more specific and you know uh, follow up and you know becomes more easy then it should be achievable you know uh, given your financial processions given your uh, mindset given your you know uh, way of life you know uh, it should be achievable such so if you are a person who is staying away from home and who you do not cook for yourself you eat from outside and then you make a resolution to never eat junk food during the you know next year it's not uh, you know it could not be an achievable goal maybe you can try to you know uh, make it more you know uh, achievable thing so you know it will increase the chances of success and also a goal should be relevant to you it should make meaning it should provide more value to our life you know it should not be framed or it should not be taken up because somebody else has asked us to or somebody uh, else is doing this you know uh, those kind of uh, you know irrelevant things which are not relevant or which do not add more meaning to our life may not succeed much then they should be time framed as as i said you know within this you know this much amount of time this much of progress has to be made you know it's not to say that we will you know strictly you know stick to all those time frames but you know there will be a way to look at them and you know we can assess the progress that we have made so that's important to make whatever goals we make make them uh, you know uh, smart and if we have a very large or a very distant uh, you know goal for ourselves it's always useful to divide this you know goal into specific smaller tasks you know so that each task can be uh, you know specifically defined and and uh, you know t- you know we can try to achieve that and whenever we make some progress it's always uh, you know useful to reward ourselves with something you know with, with some some th- some kind of a positive uh, you know uh, reward to be given whenever we make small progress that will keep us going and uh, as i already said you know we have to uh, make sure that whatever goal we choose it has to add some meaning to our life otherwise we may not be so uh, you know committed to uh, such resolutions and also it's also important to plan ahead 
and you know not make up our resolutions on the 31st or 30th or even the last week of december so you know if we, if we are you know during the first week of january that's okay make a resolution plan it thoroughly as thoroughly as possible uh, you know think about it and 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 then you know choose a starting point which is somewhere uh, you know near but you know do not wait for the next january first maybe uh, you know uh, plan for a, uh, for, for a february first or maybe you know if you are in india maybe some something like uh, you know january 26th or any any date anything that can be uh, you know taken as a milestone that's okay it's not that you know january 1st is a magical day you know it, it, it what is more important is that we are more planned and we are more ready to uh, you know make a change and also uh, if your resolution uh, you know uh, it is something that has that needs an external help for example if we have Uh, a resolution that is related to, to uh, usage of tobacco you know this is most of the time something that has to uh, be achieved with professional help so uh, in case of those kind of uh, resolutions we you know it's always good to have professional help also uh, along with our resolutions and uh, probably the most important one uh, is to prepare for challenges interruptions and setbacks you know that's uh, something that we fail to do many times uh, as we are human and whenever we try to make changes you know no, no these changes may not be you know go on a very linear way there could be setbacks there could be interruptions uh, there could be uh, periods of no change at all what is more important is to understand that there would be these kind of periods and be ready to be compassionate to ourselves and uh, diligent with the follow up so we have started on a weight loss journey we have uh, followed through for 3 months then came a vacation period and all the plans were sabotaged we put on some more weight what is important is to uh, go forward from what was what was already achieved you know, not to blame ourselves for uh, you know failing this so we have to probably practice self compassion and do some some self reflections motivate ourselves to go further and use self regulation tools and 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 you know start again and and you know try to uh, progress as far as possible and try to track your own progress and we can always enlist the help of others who will be ready to motivate and help us not the ones that will make fun of us and we can always try to uh, increase our targets if we are successful at achieving some 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 kind of a set target and you know come out of our uh, uh, our comfort zones uh, in fact study says that you know learning is most optimal when we continuously try to break our own comfort zones that's how changes happen and these are the things that i had to share about new year resolutions and how we can try and make them more successful i wish all uh, you know all of you uh, better choices and better changes in life and best wishes that's it thank you